It's finally the weekend. I always like to celebrate the beginning of mine with a cocktail and although seeing friends and family is strictly off limits, I've been enjoying making my own at home. I've invested in some new glasses and barware, which I'm going to share with you now, and also a recipe for a cocktail that is so simple and delicious. So join me and let's toast to the weekend. For me, one of the joys of entertaining at home is being able to use my beautiful things. Although I've never been one to lock away my china and glassware in museum-like isolation, it is still nice to get out a full set of wine goblets or cocktail glasses in anticipation of a fun evening with great friends. I'm always on the lookout for new glassware when I go to antique stores. However, I equally love browsing online and the convenience it brings. It's also very handy that you are saved the embarrassment and shock of the total figure of your spending. Online, you can always remove a few things from the basket and take some stress off your credit card. I love a good cocktail, and these crystal stemmed glasses are as good as jewellery. Perfect for when I'm feeling extra fancy. For more down-to-earth refreshments, these are the perfect choice. Although still elegant, the stems are chunky and can be thrown into the dishwasher. All of my wine glasses are plain, so when I saw these William Yoward goblets, I had to have them. They are so chic and remind me of tortoise shell. I lost my last decanter set in a house move, so decided to replace them. Decanting your wine or spirits in here and pouring yourself a drink will make you feel like a duke or duchess. These crystal champagne flutes are the same design as the cocktail glasses. Just listen to them clink. And finally, when you just need a good glug of water, these water glasses provide the most elegant vessel. So for this very simple cocktail, which is just an orange and passion fruit martini, I've got some gin, but you can use vodka, and I've got some orange and mango juice, and also some raspberry liqueur, some soft brown sugar, and a bit of lime, and also obviously ice. Take a cocktail glass and some ice. And don't you just love this little set? It brings out your inner Cruella de Vil. And take the lid off the cocktail shaker and into there add some ice, lots of ice. We want to fill it up about halfway. Okay, that's the ice. And now I'm going to add the 100ml of gin. Now this is pre-measured. Into there. And then you need to use about 200 mils of your juice. Raspberry liqueur. And now I'm just going to put in some soft brown sugar. Just gives it a little bit of a kick. bit naughty. And then lastly some lime just to give it that sharpness. Make sure you don't get any of the pips in. Okay so now a lid firmly on. You don't want any disasters and we're going to shake. That needs to have a really good shake. Plenty of time to shake. Okay, I think that will do. Also, what you can do is you can sugar the rim of the glass. Um, you just wet the edge of the glass and you dip it into some sugar if you wanted to do that. So let's see what we've got. Okay. And there we have it, your cocktail.
So let me have a taste. Oh, it's heaven. Cheers. <laughs>